What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Gadget Bear. Today we have an unboxing of the Moto G Play. Now I do have the Moto G6, the regular one, for the channel, but I wanted to pick this one up because I kind of wanted to see which device gave you the best bang for your buck. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we're working with. Let's get the unboxing knife, if I even need it. Uh, so let's open up this slab and uh, right off the bag you're gonna see the phone displayed here on this prepaid Verizon box now I did pick this up for a hundred and twenty nine dollars I think 129.99 at Walmart this is the but I did hear it can be unlocked for all carriers so hopefully that's true uh, so pretty much it gives you a quick startup guide on how to activate the phone and get rolling uh some lenovo branding there motorola branding there on the side nothing in the back you get some quick specs uh you get the phone color which is deep indigo and i guess it's like a deep blue uh color you get expandable storage up to 128 gigabyte card which is great uh, you get the weight of the device 6.10 ounces the speed of the processor, you have a 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor. Now this is, if I'm not mistaken, the Snapdragon 427 and the regular Moto G6 has a Snapdragon 450. So we're gonna see which device performs better. And then we have a massive 4,000 milliamp hour battery on this device. This is rocking Android 8.0 right out the box, which is great. Uh, that's all they basically give you here. And then it kind of describes what's inside here. You get the Moto G6 Play, the SIM card for Verizon, and the battery. I don't believe it's an external battery, so I don't know why they have the battery listed as what comes in the device you have a wall usb charger your sim removal tool and verizon brochures so let's go ahead and lift this tab here and pull out the device there we go you have the phone here let's set that aside uh, you do have a micro USB to USB charging cable and a brick. I believe this is fast charging as well. And you do get your SIM ejection tool, your Verizon brochure as mentioned before, and uh, your SIM card, I believe it's inside the phone itself. Let's go ahead and put that back and power on the phone. Oh, and you get a free case. That's pretty awesome. You get a free Jelly TPU case clear. Uh, that's pretty cool that they provided a free case. Uh, the regular Moto G6 did not come with the free case. Let's go ahead and peel this screen protector off. There you go. Quick tour of the phone. You have your textured power button there. You do have your volume rocker. On top you have a headphone jack, which is awesome. You have a, a noise cancellation mic on top. You have your SIM tray on the left side on the phone, on the bottom of the phone. You have another mic and micro USB charging port. On the back of the phone, you have your camera. I believe it's a 13 megapixel rear facing camera. You do have Motorola branding, but this is not only Motorola branding. This is actually your fingerprint sensor as well. Kind of cool that they did that. And you have your Verizon Trend stamp on the back. Now, looking at the front of the phone, you have some more Motorola branding there. You have your earpiece here that also dubs as your speaker. You have your front-facing camera. I believe it's an 8 megapixel front-facing camera along with flash on the other side of that earpiece. Let's go ahead and power this device and I'm going to do a quick comparison uh, to the Moto G6. This is a 57 
IPS LCD. It is 18 by 9 aspect ratio. The difference between this one and the Moto G is this is a 1440 by 720. The Moto G is a 2160. Let this boot up real quick and I'll come right back as soon as it's done. Okay, so I'm at the fingerprint sensor part. So let's go ahead and add a fingerprint and see how good it is. Uh, let's go and hit a pin, set up a pin, continue, copy the pin real quick. So the fingerprint sensor, as mentioned earlier, it is that Motorola sign right there. Let's go ahead and find it. And it says get ready by touching. Let's go ahead next. And let's see how good this fingerprint reader is. So basically it's, it's asking me to slightly move my finger around the fingerprint sensor so I can get different parts of my fingers done. Let's go ahead and add agree and we'll go ahead and turn it on. Let's go ahead and skip that. Got it, and there we go. Right off the back, I wanna say the display looks good for a 720p display. It looks very, very, very good actually. Um, now, you do have a metal frame around the edge of the phone and the back. It is a fingerprint magnet, uh, so shout out for them giving us that case. Let's go ahead and clean it off it looks very very nice this blue this indigo blue color is very very appealing and very nice looks good um but i believe this is plastic and not glass so um very kind of hefty feels very hefty and hand gives it that premium feeling uh, let's go ahead and see how much storage we have settings and head over to the storage option there now it says we have used 6.5 gigabytes out of the 16 uh, we do have a lot of bloatware on the phone installed right out the box you do have like alarm clock for me you got a couple of Verizon apps there that you can probably disable or delete but you do have a lot of games as well I see an MP Slotomania, uh, Wish app, Weatherbug, and uh, Top Buzz Lite, the Yahoo Mail app, Word Blitz, a couple of apps that you can probably disable and delete. You probably want to get a, a micro SD card uh, expandable up to 128 gigs because uh, it's just going to give you more room for pictures, videos, and apps if needed. Uh, let's go ahead and back out. So let's do a quick, let's get the Moto G 6 here. Shout out to Poetic for the carbon case. Loving the case. Let's do a quick comparison and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to go in debt to see which phone you're going to get the best bang for your buck. Uh, this one's currently 129 This is about 230 on Amazon kind of similar specs in their own way uh, this does have the snapdragon 427 against the snapdragon 450 3 gigs of ram 32 gigs of storage 16 gigs of storage and 2 gigs of ram there the cameras on the rear you have a 13 megapixel with uh f 2.0 aperture uh you have a 12 megapixel with f point with uh f 1.8 aperture uh now this one does have a secondary camera five megapixel for depth sensing um let's turn around the phone in the front now you have a 1080p display here with 18 by 9 aspect ratio and on the left you have a 720 hd screen also 18 by nine aspect ratio display now i can't tell the difference you can maybe tell that this one's a little bit more sh sharper than the moto g6 play but they both look good so let's go ahead 
almost similar in size. Uh, they're both 5.7 inch. One of the big difference is this one has the fingerprint sensor on the front. The Moto G6 Play has it in the rear. I kind of like this better. And then the Moto G6 Play has a larger battery, 4,000 milliamps. The Moto G6 has a 3,000. So the Moto G6 Play beats out the Moto G6 by a thousand milliamps. So uh, let's go ahead and end this with that being said. Uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, share the video, make sure you hit the notification bell because I am going to do a more in depth comparison between the both of these phones uh, just so we can see which phone gives us the best bang for our buck. Now this one, like I mentioned before, is 230 at Amazon Best Buy. This one I did get at Walmart for 120, $130. Uh, this is the Verizon version, but it can be unlocked for any carrier. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.